Right, You're alright Sam. Let me just uh, flip you that on a second. Morning everybody, it's race day at Tong Parkwood Centre at Bradford. I'm just with uh, Sam Lytle and now we'll call him Bric a Brac. <laughs> <Fruit loop. laughs> but round three, the British ACU Enduro Championship, Sam. You've been helping setting the course up this week? Yeah, I've been down a few days where I could get in with work and whatnot, but yeah, I've been down, it's been a good laugh and yeah, it's a good track, ready for the weekend. I ran with Mark yesterday, you know, talking about what, what's in store for the guys. This morning is going to be quite a flowing course for the, the sportsmen, novice riders. Yeah, it's a good course, we've there's a few uh, harder bits where it'll uh, steady up for them, but yeah, overall it's a good course, some nice yeah, steady yeah. away bits, but not too challenging. Yeah. And there's some new sections in, like the half pipe down in the bottom for the uh, the afternoon, guys. It's going to be quite a spectacle down there. Yeah, that's a good bit. It's uh, Mark's favourite spot, is that he's been lurking down there all week. Yeah. yeah, it's a good setup. Uh, been plenty of work going in through week and before that, but yeah. So, what's your role today? Uh, Chief blagger as always. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure everyone keeps the tapes yeah. and no one gets to no bottlenecks and yeah, yeah then swapping from AM to PM. Cool. Have a great yeah. day, mate. All yeah. right. Take it easy, Robbo. Cheers, Sam. So that was uh, Sam Light out of there. One of the the marshals today. Let's have a quick word with Lee Edmondson. On the board, what you say? Yeah, of course I can. <laughs> Okay, we're just with Lee Edmondson now. Billy Bolt's in the background. Billy's a mechanic, but he's forced you into riding today. Has he forced you? Has it, is it is it an optional thing? No, he has forced me. Yeah, <laughs> it was all on force. Um, no, as I say, it's um, somewhat different. Um, we're reversing the roles. He's obviously got a yeah. lot of work to do on my bike, yeah, because uh, I haven't prepped it. It's down to his, that's his job. Um, but no, as I say, it's, somewhat, it's a bit of fun. Reverse the roles for the day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, see how we got. When on. was the last time you rode? Um, Welsh two day, probably about three years ago, <laughs> three and a half years ago. And generally, that's no joke that I, it's like people say, oh, you've. Yeah, but I bet you must ride a bike all the time, go out with it, not a chance. Yeah. I don't, we don't have time to, yeah. to do it. I haven't even got a bike myself, so I generally haven't. So, so I know you, you're quite an experienced rider in your own right anyway. You're, right, you're an expert rider, or were, when you were sort of competing regularly. Yeah. So are you hoping the muscle memory is going to kick in today and just help you out? Mm, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone's going to kick in and help me out, whether it's uh, Billy jumping on and helping me out, but no, I don't think that'll happen. But as I say, I just... Uh, I think you never lose what you had, but yeah. from like memory side and stuff, you kind of forget a few things and balance, lose a bit of balance and that. But yeah, yeah we'll just we'll just play it by ear and see yeah. see see how it goes. Unfortunately, yeah. I was hoping to go in the morning race and have a bit of fun, but then Billy's entered me set in the pros, so yeah, yeah we'll see. You've you've been on a right journey as Billy's mechanic. Yeah, and there's all sorts of stuff you know from a work point of view, but also the fun side of it as well, all the antics you get up to. You know, yeah. I remember speaking to you what maybe five years ago, but Helmsley before you just started, he was sort of on the, on the cars to do that. And yeah. what a journey you've been on. No, as I say, I mean this year is the eighth year. Yeah, the eighth year since eight years. Eight Blimey. years. Yeah, this year. Um, so yeah, it, it's the journey that we've been on. From it's kind of cool because I started when he started, yeah. almost like with him. Uh, from he had a first year with Julian. Um, on the KTM, and then as soon as he signed for Factory, that's when that, that's when I started. And yeah, for uh, the, the journey that we we had, um, but that we've had along the way, we've had yeah. a lot of fun times and stuff like this. I think makes it more fun as well. People see a different yeah. side to it all. So. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just get Billy in the shot here now. I'm just saying, you know, you've, you've been on the right She's journey, you too. And I like you know some of the antics you get up to, all the sort of. It looks like you're beating him up at times, and like and you, it was throwing uh, towel and uh, towel him and stuff. Because he doesn't have the media outlet to show what he gives back to me. It's 50-50, really. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing. It. There's nothing fifty about it. Fifty-fifty. He enjoys it as well. <laughs> Likes the attention, don't you? No, it's all it's all fun and games. So you're going to be on the spanners today, Billy? Of course I am. I actually brought my mechanics outfit. I'm going to get changed in a little. Have you got your own toolbox? Yeah, no, I haven't got a toolbox. Well, I left the toolbox at home. I had a very logistically busy week, but anyway, I did bring my, my full mechanics outfit, so if you come and find us later in the pits, I'll be ready, <laughs> providing someone else has got tools. Okay, this is going to be, it's going to be an entertaining day regardless, but Billy, just uh, in terms of your fitness and stuff, you've got one more round left, haven't you? Two. Sorry, two, yeah, you've got uh, 
Romania, is it? Bulgaria. Bulgaria, sorry. You need and, to do more research. I know I do, yeah. Indonesia I'm not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got Bulgaria. I'm going to Newcastle, by the way. Well, that is the last one. If you yeah. turn up there, you'll yeah. definitely be at the I've last one. I've got the one. tickets, mate. I've right. got the tickets. Um, yeah, but, so uh, I've got two left. It's all right. I mean, yeah. it, the collision I had with Manny last week definitely Yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. I, um, I haven't rode. I haven't really been able to train or do anything this week. It's been, uh, it's been quite sore, but it's just, yeah, a case of like it was since I did it. Survive to the end of the year, keep getting the swelling out as, as best as we possibly can, and then turn up any trace and yeah. try and go as fast as possible, cool. which, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Like I say, I definitely haven't felt great since last weekend, but we've got another weekend off before the next round, uh, so I think I'll be all right. Cool, and uh, you've got the, a big day coming as well later this yeah. year, haven't you? Yeah. But, Coming very soon. Very yeah. soon, actually, yeah. 18th of March. Yes. Yeah. Get this so, super enduro out of the way, then it's uh, everyone's Ta- down to South Africa. We'll tie the knot. Tying the knot, so yeah, yeah. excited. Yeah. Roxy's well, been awfully busy and awfully stressed. Um, it's a very big job, but well, it's, yeah, it's good nearing luck. completion, and hopefully everyone's going to enjoy it. Yeah, well, us. good luck with that, and, and congrat- congratulations for when it happens. Thank okay, you very much. all right. Good luck, guys. Have a good day, Lee. Andy, Thank have you. Nice and, day. Uh, okay. Well, that was brilliant down there. <laughs> Still East, right? I need to up the game with the Super Red Euro stuff. I haven't lost my way a little bit this year with that because I've been doing other things. But we're now at the start of the morning race and we're going to try and get a little bit of this. I can't promise too much, but I'm going to try and get what I can. But the main focus today, again, will be on the afternoon. So let's go.
a little bit chaotic in the uh, early stage of the, of the uh, AM race there this morning with the uh, the sportsman class firstly going over the log from the start area and then into one of the harder sections up the bank over the logs a lot of carnage let's see what's going on elsewhere <laughs> Do not believe this. <laughs> Trying.
Man, let him now. If I can squeeze him past all these branches, I'll, I'll get behind you. <laughs> Just to let you hold that. Don't hold, don't hold it too close to your mouth, but yeah. Hiya, man. It's great to see you. Uh, before we start, a big shout out from all the guys at Gets and Rodeo. I wish you good luck this weekend. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. But um, interesting uh, track here is Tong. Very muddy, very slippy. You've had a walk around. I understand you were down here yesterday. What do you think so far? Um, yeah, pretty muddy, yeah, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I think I never raced in conditions like this, so it's definitely pretty interesting, but um, overall quite cool to see um, so many people out there already now. I feel like it's even more packed than, than the one what I did at Valley, so atmosphere is good. Everybody is hyped that, that we're here and that we're raced, so yeah, we'll be a good one. Yeah, and uh, the Valley's the last round. Well done there. And uh, what did you think of the valleys overall? A lot of spectators, a lot of a lot of atmosphere. Yeah, it was was quite good also. Like I was was really impressed about the first, like let's say the first race and how many people showed up there as well because it's so spread out. But there were people everywhere, so it was pretty cool. Did you like the format? I like the format. Um, was quite nice. The race on on Sunday on Saturday. I feel like you could mix it up a little bit, but. In overall, was I think a cool weekend, what everybody enjoyed, and um, yeah, more or less now, just a, a different one this weekend. Okay, and this weekend we've got Lee Edmondson, Billy's mechanic. Stanley we're, is right on. racing. Word has it, he's going to smoke all of you. You think? <laughs> you never know, huh? You never I'm know. I'm only joking. No, but, no, I think it, it's pretty cool, you know, that um, that, that Lee is racing today, and um, I feel like. They always have a laugh together and make the make the most out of it. And Billy um, is still not racing the, the outdoors, so they think they made a good decision just to bring him in and <laughs> to have have a good good crack. And um, I feel like people are already loving it. And um, yeah, I think 
it's going to be a good weekend ahead and a good day ahead. Um, I think everybody's so excited that we're here and um, even if it's muddy and like shitty conditions, just I suppose um, doing, not fired up. I suppose doing these races, it's a good warm up to the, the, the outdoor season, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And like I, from my personal side, like to race races, which I've never done and I've never rode in muddy conditions like this, I feel like. So it's also the first time for me, but it's always some good training yeah. and um, some good preparation for outdoors. Okay. Good luck this weekend, mate. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers, mate. No problem, man. All right, yeah, good to see you. Quick word with Johnny Walker. Okay. Emily's been uh, handing the cake out. You're on the cake list. Don't miss out, Johnny. I'm liking, I'm liking the uh, the gear. What are you wearing? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It is nice. I like it. I don't have much of it. And it's a little bit shirkoy, so I don't like to yeah, wear it all yeah, the time. Yeah, it was a bit shirkoy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's nice. I've just I've just been having the the crack with Manny. How is and it? I was just saying that uh, Lee Edmondson's riding today. And he's gonna smoke you both. He probably will. Actually. <laughs> hey, I've done some racing against him back in the day. He's we quite an accomplished race. rider. Isn't yeah, he? he was good. I guess he hasn't rode for quite a few years. Yeah. And you do lose it, but you don't lose it that much. He'll still be he'll still be good for. A, I did say to him, I, I did say, is a muscle memory going to kick in and you'll just <laughs> get going? Fine. We used to, honestly, we used to ride like 10 years ago when he was still racing. We'd race against him yeah. because he did British Enduro and so did I. So we did loads of racing together. So, so, cool. so what's going in the, the hydration pack then? Right. And that's what I use as well. Berry flavour. It's good. It is good. I always use the berry. And, and the preload. You, I haven't used any of the other ones. you use the preload at all? No, I haven't. That that's was... good for arm pump. Really good for oh, arm really? pump. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the preload. I was done with that. I was getting arm pump last week, left, right, and centre. Yeah, yeah. So. I'll have to get some of that. <laughs> so, third round. Is this the last uh, British that you're doing? <coughs> no, we're going to do the next round. Um, is it last man standing? The next You've got Sporton Quarry, yeah. Sporton Quarry, yeah. That's March. Yeah. March the 10th. I might actually ride the morning race. Newcastle. Yep. I went to do it a few years ago, I remember, and I got there and I was walking the track and my knee popped out yeah. walking the track. <laughs> so I'm going to actually go there and ride it this time. It looked really good, so I'm quite looking forward to that one. I just want to get these Super Enduros out of the way. Yeah. And then we can concentrate a little bit more on Extreme, but until then. I know you're going to Erzberg, you said, we'll last time Yeah, sport. Erzberg. I'll do the Valleys one. I'm just going to do a couple. I'm just trying to fit a load of racing, in, really. Yeah. I'm quite enjoying racing. So, so. since the last... Uh, Last weekend, what have you been doing yourself midweek? Nothing this week. What have we done this week? Oh, we've insulation, Ill. roof insulation, Monday, and then I've been ill from Monday onwards. Um, I was actually thinking insane. Friday, I was like, I'm maybe not going to race because I didn't want to. I didn't want to race and then make myself worse for, you know, the next Super Enduro. But then yeah. I thought, oh, I'm, here, I'm in England. Yeah. It's good to come race in England. I yeah. enjoy it, and the the atmosphere now is so good. Yeah, and it's definitely growing, and there's more people here at every race. So. It's nice to see the last exactly. three, three, you know, three rounds have been a lot of people, hasn't it? Exactly, and I've not raced in England a lot over the last few years, and I do enjoy it. But now I've got a bike in the UK, it makes it a lot easier to just yeah, come yeah. Back and do them. Speaking to Manny, he, uh, he said he's not racing in conditions like this. You know, all, all, that, all that slop of mud down He'll there. He'll be fine. He's not. He's a world <laughs> champion for a reason. Me and my mate Neil were just like wondering who's going to be top dog today. What birds are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bert's think, great. No, he's good, man. He. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It doesn't matter what condition he's in. No, I, yeah, and like yourself, I think you know, you've got yourself. You, you head back into the outdoor stuff a little yeah, bit now, haven't I you? I just need, I need a bit of time really to like get back in. But I don't want to start training through the weeks because I've got I'm more focused on the super enduro. And yeah. like Billy's obviously not riding that. He's focusing more, and I guess the bright moors haven't come. They're focusing on that. Yeah, obviously Ashton's. In the lead of the juniors which he should win so yeah. i think it's good to like i always say it's good to focus on one and not the other because when you try and do both like manny when he goes to the indoors he's really he struggled hasn't he with his speed and that so once you start mixing both together you kind of lose out in both areas somebody so. said to me this morning are you riding today rob and i said no and that's because you can't do two jobs you've got to focus on one yeah, job one to be best to be, be better at it 100 percent yeah. You've got to literally, you either do super, Billy's different, Billy's like the only rider I feel out of anyone that can yeah. do the two disciplines um, because of his skill set kind yeah. of thing, yeah. whereas me I need to focus on one or the other and the last few years I've focused more on the indoors. So, so, 
So where's uh, where's Rob Taylor today? I've not seen him kicking about. Is he? He's in, marshalling today. He's normally doing a bit of dancing. Quid, I reckon, yeah. <laughs> if we dancing around the track, we'll see him. We'll yeah. see him. I hope he's there shouting me, pointing me in the right line. Mm. Cool. Well, we'll leave you to get ready. Good luck, mate. All right. Thank you very much. Look after yourself we'll out see there. See you in a bit. Cheers.
outside, Johnny. Get outside here.
Johnny, a proper slog out there today. I, I, uh, I were envious of anybody out there today. <laughs> No, to be honest, it was actually all right. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was just so slippy everywhere, and if you messed up some lines, then you'd lose a lot of time. So 
after about two or three laps, I decided just to take easy lines and just ride from there, really. So, yeah, no, it's good. I enjoyed it. It was a struggle, though. Bigger fish to fry, aren't you, really, with Super Enduro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, just get through these without injury. But it was good. My bike was so much better than the, the race the other week, so I'm... I'm happy with how my bike's been, so yeah, that's good. Okay, well done. Well Thank done, you. mate. Cheers, Johnny. Thank you. Oh, Lee. You ran out of water. An absolute... I ran out quite early on. Lee, you're an absolute legend, mate. Well done, mate. Do you know how many laps you've done? No. I don't know. How many laps did I do? Four, four or five? I didn't do... I definitely did more than two. Uh, four, I think. Any problems out there? Any, any a lot pits? by the looks of it. A lot of problems. <laughs> any damage? Yeah. All levers are intact. Got cable tight. Minus 20. Handlebars. You know what? Handlebars are bent. Why did you do that? I just let it go. <laughs> Ready for the next one? No. <laughs> That's me retired again. Well done, mate. Well done. Manny, very quickly, you were, you were talking earlier about these muddy conditions when we had a cat before the race. I think you, you, have, adjusted, you have adjusted to these muddy conditions, haven't you? Oi, these are definitely some other conditions, but pretty soaked with my riding. It was so slippery, like the, the seat got so slippery, so it was like so hard to like just hold on. Um, on the arms, and I got pretty tired at the last three laps, but overall quite happy. I thought we were going to have a little bit more of a... Of a um, good ride, um, me and Johnny, but I haven't really seen him at all, so um, yeah. just rode my own race. Yeah. Uh, the British round quite extreme. Quite extreme. It's a good, good crowd, and it's I think from like spectators and like just media-wise, it's such a cool event. So it's definitely cool to see so many people out there in the woods. Congratulations on the win. Thanks. There we go. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Good ride. <laughs> Jack, congratulations on being third. I'll get it off. Oh my God. Thank you. Just give your nose a bit of a wipe. I know, he's been, he's been really bad today. I've had to keep on blowing it over my helmet. Uh, yeah. What a slog out there it was. Yeah, it was a big slog. The, the pit stop the yeah, well, I, had a, I had a pit stop for fuel, which is obviously normal in a two and a half hour. And I had another pit stop. I smashed my front wheel, I think. I don't know. I kept on looking and every time it was breaking, it was like moving a lot. And I couldn't go in a straight line and stuff like that. So I had a bit of a gap to uh, four, so we chose to um, pit. And it was just hard to get going again then. But yeah, really good race. Really good. A, a good track. Yeah, so good. So, so good. Well done, mate. Well done. Yeah. Well done. I crashed again on the gap jump, man. <laughs> Liam, what's your oh. Liam? Chris, Liam, tell me about your crash. Well, I had a couple, to be fair. Hit the gap jump first lap, hit it with my back wheel. And I went second lap, hit it with my front wheel. <laughs> oh, <fucking> hell. <laughs> 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 Look at this, <laughs> is that not a brand new pillar? It is, it's got about four hours on it. <laughs> but you finished us, mate. Yeah, well done. Give your number yeah. your video. <laughs> 477 The Clubman. So, third step in the Clubman goes to Lone Haycock. <laughs> Well done, Lord. There we go. Well done. Second uh, step in the Clubman goes to Harrison Skelton. Well done, Harrison. And taking the top step on the podium in the Clubman is Jay Jarvis. Well done, Jay. Good attempt, Matt. That is your clubman, top step, Jay Jarvis, Harrison Skelton and Lorne Haycock. Well done, boys. Third step in the Elite Vets. Well done, Richard. Second step in the Elite Vets goes to John Lumley.
Well done, John. And let's put your hands together for this fella. Normally we see him on the spanners, but not this time. Taking the top step in the Elite Vets is Dewey Butler. Come on, these bets. Get on these steps. That's your elite bets. Third place, Richard Vosnercroft. Second place, John Lumley. And taking the stop pot, top step is Demo Butler. Well done, lads. Third step is Radford Chug. Let's give him a shout up. Second step in the experts, normally seen on a trials bike, but now on a new enduro bike, is Deck Bullock. There we go, Deck, thank you very much. Taking the top steps in a very, very well fought class is Alfie Roll. He's Alfie Royal in the arena. Here he is. Well done, Alfie. That is your expert class. Third position, Radford Chubb. Second position, Deck Bullock. And topping off the step is Alfie Royal. The standard of these uh, championship riders is fantastic. And what a privilege to see them all here uh, showing up and uh, showing us what it's all about. So, here we go. Third step, Jack Price. Well done, Jack. Jack. Second position, Cumbria's best, Johnny Walker. Well done, Johnny. And, ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together. Let's hear some noise all the way from Germany. The current world champion, and he showed us why, Manny Lettenbickler. Absolute splendid show of talent there. The world champion, what a privilege for have with Manny over in this country at Parkwood. So a well-deserved win, showed us what it was all about. So that is your winner, Manny Lettenbickler. So here we go, Jack Price, third position. Let's put your hands together. Johnny Walker, and on the top step, Manny Lettenbickler.